So, with a very decent item shop, we gave a sub 1,000 credits for completely free. And we've got a massive giveaway coming up very, very soon. So, make sure you subscribe. These two items on screen completely carried the trading scene last week. But it's all come crashing down horrifically. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always. So the Rocket League market was looking good in January and especially for these two items or three items on the screen right there, but it's all absolutely blown out of proportion ridiculously. So 1,000 thumbs up for more market reviews and yeah, let's jump straight into it. And quickly before we do jump into this video, if you're looking for the fastest, safest and most reliable Rocket League items, AO has got you covered. As this website has been a fan favourite for half a decade, you can buy any Rocket League item at incredibly good pricing and using any payment method as well. Make sure you're using code Zenic for 6% off. So the very first one of February, we are going to be doing a market review, checking out the most popular items over the past 48 hours. Jumping into it. First item is going to be the White Octane. Really, really boring right now. Not doing anything amazing. And it's actually been dropping recently. Not even 9k criminal. Then we've got the White Fennec. Yep. Always is a good investment. Like once every, I don't even know, like month. But then just obviously goes back down and flat lines. Then we have got the White Zombies. Okay. Leveling out of 2.5k. Not horrific. They used to be 2k solid. Then we have got the White Emeralds. Okay. Falling from grace, being 2.5k ish now, not even a thousand credits of minimum value. They have fallen off an absolute cliff. Then we have got the Doom Racer, even worse. Oh my god. Okay, so this thing was creeping up to 5k now, barely scraping two. And I doubt it even sells for that because of how much it's dropped. Okay, what has happened to the market recently? Then regular Fennec, standard, literally looks like a heartbeat, like not really doing too much though, to be fair. Then you've got a black standard, 3k. Solid, can't really go wrong with that, you know, it's a solid item, you know, it's always going to stay relevant. Then we have got the regular mainframe going up a bit, fair enough, don't know what else to say to that. Then we've got the Inter, 1k maximum value, can't go wrong with that. Next up, Big Splash, only reason it's going to be here is because there's so many painted versions in the game, which we might make a separate video on, to be fair. Then you've got the Titanium White Standard, 1.7k maximum value, not too bad at all. White Apex, okay, so these things were selling for like 70k at one point, pretty sure. Now, I'm pretty sure they're selling at 40 max. Which is just, it's criminal. These RCS items have just absolutely dropped off ridiculous amounts. And then we've got the Titanium White Mainframe, okay? Gone down a bit. Still at a solid price, so around 15k. Then you've got the Drilling Dragons. What do I need to say about that? Not really too much to say. You've got the Crimson Octane, once again, flatlining. Which may go up to 1.5 very, very soon. It should do, at least. You've got a Black Dicey, 70k for the Uncommon Rarity. What on earth is happening there? All right. Fair enough, Dice is still staying extremely relevant. You have obviously got the Dissolver. Yep, okay, once again, a really boring item on the spreadsheet. Ping Mainframe, only reason that's here is because it was in the item shop recently. You've got the Fire God. Dropped down quite a bit because I remember that was like 700 credits for that lining. Then we have got ourselves the Black Zombies. Always on the list, to be fair. 1,000 credits, not too bad at all. We've got a White Inter. Always going to stay around 2.5k. Nothing interesting there. We've got Grey Apex. Oh my god, okay. So, I didn't even notice this. They were up to like 20, 25k maybe. And now, have dropped down to probably selling to around 10k shortly. Which is just nuts to me. You've got the regular Zombies. Why are they here every time? Not a clue. Golden Moons are one of the worst crates ever. You can get mainframe and that's it. The rest, you're asking to lose profits. So they're probably selling for 100 each. And then we have got the grey standard. No idea why it's here every week, but still, 1k, definitely a solid price. So yeah, someone please explain to me how these emeralds and dune races have fallen off this big. Yeah, like, obviously, they were going to crash at one point, but not this quickly. I didn't expect it. And oh my god, they have gone down quickly. Let me tell you that for free. But yeah, make sure to subscribe. Daily Rocket League content is going to be here. 1k thumbs up for more trading. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.